All right, for the final video in this series, I want to recap what we have learned and suggest where to go from here. We started off by spending an entire section to understand what is Node.js. In section 2, we learned about modules in Node.js. User-defined modules to be more specific. In section 3 and 4, we learned about the core built-in modules that Node.js ships with, such as Path, FS, Events, and HTTP. In section 5, we had a closer look at the internals of Node.js. We understood in detail about LibUV, Threadpool, and the event loop. In section 6, we learned about NPM and how to work with third-party modules. In section 7, we learned how to build a command line interface tool using Node and NPM. Finally, in the last section, we covered a few miscellaneous topics such as clusters, worker threads, and deploying a Node.js application. I hope you have a much better understanding of the concepts now than you did before starting this series. Now, where do you go from here? Well, let me suggest a few topics. First, I would suggest Express.js. It is a web framework built on top of Node.js. The next topic is Jest or Vtest. You can use these to write unit tests for your application. Another great topic to consider is TypeScript. Adding types to your Node.js app will greatly reduce the number of bugs you might come across and refactoring becomes a whole lot easier. Of course, I will be creating videos on these topics sometime in the near future. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed the series on Node.js and found it helpful, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as it helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.